Hi, I'm Tim from Roland Corporation and today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the UA1G audio interface on a Windows Vista system. Insert the driver disk that came with your UA1G into your computer CD drive. The autoplay screen will appear. Click here to view the files on the CD. Now locate the folder named Driver, double click to open. Locate the folder called Vista, double click. Now to start the installer, double click on the setup.exe icon. Click continue and next to begin installing. Click install. Now you need to connect your UA1G to your computer. If you're using a tower, please connect to a port on the back of your PC. Also check you have the advanced driver switch on. The driver will now finish installing. This can take a few minutes. When finished, click close to exit. We're now going to change the system settings so that the UA1G is used as the default audio device. This will bypass your internal sound card so any applications like iTunes or Windows Media Player will play through the UA1G. First, go to the Windows Start menu and open your control panel. Locate the sound icon, double click to open. Now here in the playback tab, you need to right click on the UA1G. Now select set as default device on the menu that pops up. We're going to do the same now in the recording tab. So click on recording, right click on the UA1G and set as default device. Click OK. Whilst the UA1G is installed on your PC, it's not automatically set up for use in Sonar. You have to configure a few settings manually before you can start recording. Open Sonar and start a new project. Once your project is opened, go to the Options menu and select Audio. Click on the Drivers tab and verify that the drivers are there for UA1G in both input and output sections of the screen. You need to place a check in the box just next to the UA1G to enable its driver. Now click on the Advanced tab and verify the driver mode is set to ASIO. Click OK. OK again. Close Sonar and then relaunch. If you go back to the Options Audio dialog, you see the UA1G is now selected and ready for use.